you are walking on the streets and you see a boy and a girl and they tell you oh they are twins like my husband a boy and a girl and they are twins or you're walking on the streets and you see two set of individuals and the next thing that comes to your mind is these two people are twins you don't even need a soothsayer to tell you and at the end you find that they are actually twins that is already giving you a clue that they are different types of twins good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is messi mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be talking about the different types of twins the different types of twins we have in our various communities and also what are the odds that this person is going to give birth to twins but before we go into details if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is me Messy Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be talking about the different types of twins and also the odds that um, the pest, a particular woman, is going to give birth to a twins. The first thing is what are the various types of twins that we have there are two types of twins we have the um, the fraternal twins and the identical twins they are fraternal twins and the identical twins the first one i'm going to be talking about is the identical twins the identical twins they are known also known as the monozygote twins or the monozygotic twins than the monozygote twins why mono means one what happened in identical twins is that the mother releases just one egg and one sperm goes to that egg to get it fertilized one egg is being fertilized by one sperm so when the egg is fertilized by one sperm after they fuse together they divide you can see they have the same genetic makeup, the same constituent, the same ingredients. That is why when they come out, they are identical. They are either boy boy, gay gay, male male, female female. They are identical. Their eyes could be identical. Their hair, they are identical. People find it difficult to differentiate them, and most times only their parents. Are able to differentiate them there may be some little features you see in them you are able to differentiate the two of them so identical twins they are twins that are as a result of one egg fertilizing one one sperm fertilizing one egg and at the end it divides to give birth to two babies when this happens it's um, if the babies did not divide properly, that is where you hear of co-joint twins. You see twins that are born with their heads together, their hands together, things they are joined together, they are unable to... It simply means that identical twins, they didn't divide properly. It can actually result in what co-joint twins. So now you know how identical twins are formed. One sperm fertilizing one egg and they divide to form two babies. Then the other is is um the fraternal twins which is also known as the dizygotic twins the dizygotic twins as the name implies die two what it means is that two eggs are being fertilized by two sperms it's just simple remember in identical is one egg fertilizing one one sperm Fertilizing one egg, giving birth to two babies at last. But in fraternal twins, two different eggs are being released. These two different eggs that are being released are fertilized by two different sperm. So these two babies, they are different. Genetically, they are different. You could have a male and a female. You could have both females. One is very slim, one is very fat. They just have different features. They have different characteristics. They have different 
um, different habits they are totally different but yet they are twins they came out the same day so you can call that they are fraternal twins or dizygotic twins so me i got married to a fraternal twin which is a dizygotic twin so that is that that's the difference between the two types of twins we have the identical twins and also the what the dizygotic twins or the or the fraternal twins now people usually ask me what are the chances of a woman having a twin child the first is i would like to share with you is advancing age women that are in their 30s their 40s generally they are more likely to give birth to twins than the younger women why because they have a lot of estrogens that stimulates the ovaries to release more eggs compared to the younger uh, com compared to the younger female so women who are advanced you see them giving birth to twins is because they are advanced you say oh that mommy don't old he just gave birth to twins yes so when a woman is advancing a woman is getting aged like 30 40 in their 40s they tend to um, give birth to twins because there's an increased uh, female hormone that's the estrogen that stimulates the ovaries to produce more eggs then the other is normal of pregnancies for women that have given birth to children like you're giving birth you're giving birth you're... so the as your number of pregnancy increases the possibility of you giving birth to a twin is on a higher side as the number of pregnancy increases the possibility of you giving birth to a twin child is on the higher side then the third one is hereditary yes you hear some people ah it runs in their lineage oh their mother has twins now now the daughter has twins it's a possibility that the child is going to have twins there are some people that twin runs in their lineage it is hereditary for example fraternal twins um if a male a female is from is a fraternal twin was given birth to by a fraternal twin or there's any he has siblings that is a fraternal twin there's a possibility for that female to give birth to a fraternal twin so when there's a lineage there, there, there there's somebody in the family that has a fraternal twin the possibility of that female giving birth to a fraternal twin is on a high side then the other one is race where are you from see being african in law gives you the higher chances of having um of having a twin it has been shown that africans like they have more twins the africans they have more twins the nigerians the Ghanaians, all of them they have more twins i think in nigeria the most people that have more twins are the yorubas for me that's what i think oh, i didn't do any research so don't hold me don't hold me because i know yorubas they have a lot of twins very very, very. but generally being an african make gives you some percentage of having a twin child then the other last point i'll share with you is assisted reproductive technique assisted reproductive technique where a lady takes some fertility drugs that help stimulate the ovaries to produce eggs so when a lady takes this fertility drugs it stimulates the ovaries they start instead of them to release one egg they can release more the ovaries can release more than one egg then by making this woman sorry to be pregnant with twins so these are the factors that increases the odds of a woman giving birth to a twin thank you very much for watching my video thank you very much for staying tuned don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is me saying thank you thank you very much we really appreciate you staying tuned to the end of our video don't forget to share like i will always say i still remain not miss mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference see you in our next video bye